When the Las Vegas Raiders needed a third down stop, it was superstar cornerback Nate Hobbs that stepped up and forced the incompletion. Today, we're going to break down why Nate Hobbs has taken the next step and why Nate Hobbs looks to be the real deal. This is a third and three. The Raiders just scored a field goal on the offense side of the ball. They are down by five points, so the Raiders need a stop. A stop here means the Raiders could win the football game. And it is Nate Hobbs that was assigned with covering the best wide receiver available for the Los Angeles Chargers. That is wide receiver Mike. Williams. Now on this play, one of the things people may not realize is what Cleveland Farrell does on this job to really impact the play. This is actually a really nice design to have Patrick Graham have Cleveland Farrell fake the rush and actually step back here because that's going to ultimately change the trajectory of Justin Herbert's throw. As you guys watch this play, Herbert's going to get the pass off and Cleveland Farrell is jumping up here with his right hand fully extended. And what that does is that changes the trajectory of this ball. So Justin Herbert has to avoid the hand of Cleveland Burrow. So Justin Herbert is almost throwing this a little bit to the backside of Mike Williams. Now imagine if this ball came out somewhere this way, and I'll show you guys why that's very important. As the ball is thrown to Mike Williams, the ball is slightly behind Mike Williams, and Nate Hobbs is able to get his right hand to the football and ultimately break the pass up. Now imagine this. Imagine if this football was thrown in front of Mike Williams. Imagine if Cleveland Farrell was not there. And imagine if the football was somewhere out here where all Mike Williams had to do was extend his arms and the football may have been out of the reach of Nate Hobbs. That's a really nice design by Patrick Graham. Honestly, there's probably some sort of rule within this play that says that Cleveland Farrell is going to drop back and try to cover the inside try to knock down the pass and it's actually not just Cleveland Farrell Jay and Brown also drop back into coverage to take the quick underneath throw away this is a great design by Patrick Graham see these are the types of things that you do to try to scheme things up Jay and Brown drops back Cleveland Farrell drops back they're dropping back to cover the quick throws to try to knock the passing complete this is actually a really nice design by Patrick Graham and this is a great execution by Nate Hobbs and Cleveland Farrell Let's go ahead and jump into the next play. Jumping forward into this next rep, Nate Hobbs spent 33 snaps in coverage, and he was only targeted twice. But his biggest impact came against the run because Nate Hobbs was absolutely a superstar. He was making plays like this, play in, play out, just being disruptive. But there's a part of this play that I don't think a lot of people realize, which is how Nate Hobbs avoids the right tackle in this play. As this play begins, Hobbs is in a one-on-one -on -one situation here with the right tackle. Now, this is an inside zone here to the left of your screen. And Hobbs is going to dip his right shoulder right past this right tackle. And he's going to get right past him, get that right hand around the running back's legs, bring him down for a loss of two yards. The craziest part about this entire play is Nate Hobbs makes this look easy. He makes this look natural. Like that is not an easy play right there. Jumping forward, one of the things I love with Nate Hobbs is Patrick Graham utilizes him in so many different ways. On this play, Patrick Graham is going to have him come off the edge and blitz. And he's such a solid tackler that in a one-on-one -on -one situation, Nate Hobbs is who you want going up against the running back, a wide receiver, a player out in space. Nate Hobbs will shut it down. And in a number of plays, Hobbs was just making disruptive play after play in the backfield, out in open space. The guy looked really good tackling. He looked really good in run support. And Patrick Graham has himself a Swiss Army knife in Nate Hobbs. Last season, Nate Hobbs forced five fumbles for the Las Vegas Raiders, but only one was actually recovered. The other four were quick fumbles. There were quick plays in which people really didn't even notice. But if there's one thing Hobbs has done a great job early in his career, it's forcing fumbles. And here's the crazy part about this play. Herbert checks this off to his tight end. Hobbs quickly reads it, and he's going to hit the tight end and force a fumble. The way he hits this tight end forces a fumble specifically. And the crazy part is the ball ends up going out of bounds, and no one's going to ever think twice about this play ever again. But Nate Hobbs has a unique ability to force fumbles. Rather, it's his getting his helmet on the football. Rather, it's punching the football out. He knows how to force fumbles and i think it's a big asset of his again no one's gonna ever think twice about this play because the las vegas raiders get nothing out of this play other than the fact that nate hobbs technically forces a fumble and one of the things i like to do in my videos is definitely give credit where credit is due let's go ahead and get into the next play now one of the things i like to do on this channel is to show not only positive plays but negative plays and nate hobbs did make a critical mistake in this game a mistake that cost him four points a mistake that could have been 
may be the difference in this game. Third and three, Justin Herbert's going to do a great job to avoid the pressure off the edge by Max Crosby. Crosby almost gets to him, gets a hand on him. Herbert steps up through the pocket, takes off running, and he slides. And unfortunately, Nate Hobbs is going to hit him. And you can't hit a quarterback who slides, who gives himself up. And the referee quickly throws the penalty, as you guys can see. Now, I'll be the first to tell you guys, I do not agree with this rule. I think this rule needs to be changed. Unless it's a hard helmet-to-helmet -helmet type of contact, it doesn't make sense. Like, all Nate Hobbs really does in this play is make sure Herbert goes down. Because, remember, Kenny Pickett did something very similar in college just this past year where he faked the slide, and he ended up running for a touchdown. Hobbs is just making sure he goes down. He doesn't do anything excessive. And because the game of football is so quickly, you can almost make the argument that this is a bad call. But I understand it. Rules are rules. Nate Hobbs breaks the rules in this play right here. And technically, I could see why this is a flag. Now, this was a costly mistake. Do want to point it out because we don't want to let these things go. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. How much confidence does Patrick Graham show by putting Nate Hobbs in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Keenan Allen on a third and one, a goal-to-goal -goal situation where the Chargers want to score seven points. This is what you get. Nate Hobbs is going to cover Keenan Allen. This is one of the reasons why I love the coach's tape. Because we would have never seen this play had it not been for the coach's tape. Like, we don't know what's really going on in the secondary without the all-22 tape. Now, of course, I will state this. This is a design play to the fullback. I'm sure Keenan Allen did know that he was never going to get the football. Uh, this is a pick play. As you guys can see, the Divine Diablo gets picked. Herbert finds this fullback who is wide open here. Either way, I did want to point it out, the fact that Patrick Graham truly believes in Nate Hobbs. He truly believes that in these situations where it may be a one-on-one -on -one across the board, let's put Nate Hobbs on the best player of the opposing offense. Just want to point that out. Let's get into the next rep. I want you guys to think about the personnel that the offense is in right now. They have five offensive linemen, a tight end, a fullback, a running back, two wide receivers. They are in the 21 personnel, which means the Raiders should theoretically be in a 3-4 base defense. They should have three defensive tackles, two outside linebackers, two inside linebackers, two cornerbacks, and two safeties. But they're not. Instead, they're going to show a four-man front, and they're going to put their nickel cornerback, Nate Hobbs. They're going to put him over the tight end in the box. Because Patrick Graham has confidence that against the run, Patrick Graham has that type of trust in Nate Hobbs that he'll be able to keep his gap integrity and he'll do a great job in his run fit. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Third and one, second quarter, one minute and 58 seconds left. The Chargers are going to try picking this first down up and the Raiders are going to get into this tight defense. They're going to put a lot of guys around the line of scrimmage and it's Nate Hobbs who is lined up over the tight end in a stacked position nate hobbs is going to get blocked by the wide receiver he does a great job creating separation and really taking that wide receiver on and shutting down this run lane now a big part of defending the run is creating separation between you and the blocker defensive linemen do this all the time as soon as they get out of their stance they're going to punch hobbs does a similar job taking on this wide receiver who's going to try to block him he's going to do a great job creating that separation and not allow the running back to go further than where this wide receiver is. Keep in mind, if that receiver is not there, if this tight end is not here, the running back could fall forward for an additional yard or two as Belil Nichols here is making the tackle on the running back. That's a great job right there by Nate Hobbs to play his run fit. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Now, I do want to point something out really quickly. The Las Vegas Raiders at this point are playing that big nickel package and they have Jonathan Abram playing the slot. Now, an interesting part of this defensive concept, when Jonathan Abram plays the slot, keep in mind Nate Hobbs is generally the slot cornerback, Nate Hobbs kicks to the outside. Now, something I noticed in this game that Nate Hobbs pretty much took an, an equal amount of snaps on the inside as well as on the outside. That kind of shows you the confidence that Patrick Graham has. He wants Nate Hobbs on the field as much as possible. And just a quick note on this play, Jonathan Abram has to make the tackle. Uh, he comes down right here. He comes on a blitz. He does a great job. He's in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the running back. You got to make the tackle. You cannot miss here. If Abram can't make this tackle here, he won't be on this team next year. But great job by the rest of the defense to really come around and swarm to the football and make the play. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do like to show you guys the negative reps. And I do want to just point this play out really quickly. You got Nate Hobbs lined up in the slot at the top of your screen. And technically, he's going to end up holding this wide receiver. He's going to get beat. Number five does a great job stemming this route. A great job getting out, giving Nate Hobbs an inside move, and then cutting it right back to the outside. 
And Hobbs is going to end up grabbing onto, I believe, his shoulder pad. You can tell he clearly holds this guy. Now, it's not called, obviously, as you guys can see. But regardless, third down, the Chargers do pick up a first down. But I do like this play design by Patrick Graham. And I want to spend some time on this play really quickly. On this play, the cornerback and safety on the bottom of your screen are in a man-to-man -man situation with those two receivers. And Jonathan Abram is going to be put into a one-on-one -on -one situation with the running back who is going to run this wheel concept out of the backfield. And Patrick Graham takes his shot. In fact, Patrick Graham knows exactly what the quarterback is going to do based off the coverage. As the running back comes out of the backfield, the quarterback's going to throw it. And Abram is put into a one-on-one -on -one situation. Can Abram get the stop before the running back gets the first down? He does make the tackle. In my opinion, it's very close. Obviously, the referees gave them a first down. They didn't review it. They didn't show it again. But you can almost make the argument that they should have. There's a potential that this could have been fourth and one. Obviously, the referee goes ahead and gives the first down. You guys can check it out from the backside angle. Not a big deal, but I do want to kind of just point it out. I do like the play design. Obviously, it didn't work on this play. But do note, the Raiders only gave up seven points in the second half. Patrick Graham's second half adjustment worked really well. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Nate Hobbs does a great job sticking to this wide receiver. Keep in mind, this is the second half. This is when the Raiders really need a stop. And Hobbs just sticks with number five. Absolutely shuts him down. And as you guys see, this is an incomplete pass. When the Raiders need a stop, Nate Hobbs steps up. And these are the types of plays you generally don't see. Overall, Nate Hobbs did a really good job run defending as well as being in coverage. Over 30 snaps in coverage, and he was only targeted two times the entire game. That's top-tier coverage, in my opinion. Of course, a lot of plays, he was in zone coverage. And of course, I did want to make this video because I do think Nate Hobbs does a really good job all around. Even in this play right here, he does a really good job. He's in a situation with the tight end where he has outside containment. He does a great job getting his hands, creating that separation between him and the tight end. Seals the edge, and as the running back cuts this to the inside... He gets off the block and he helps make the tackle. It's a great job by Hobbs. Overall, in my opinion, I think outside of Max Crosby, Nate Hobbs had probably the second biggest impact for the Las Vegas Raiders. And of course, do keep in mind, the Raiders barely lost this game. So many turnovers on the offensive side of the ball, yet they were so close. And a big part of that was because the defense really stepped up. Now, of course, I don't know where this defense will end up at the end of the year. But what I do know is the Raiders have a superstar in Nate Hobbs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.